Okay, so while I'm restoring my data back onto the new iPhone 11 Pro, let's just run through some of the specs here. So on the back, you can see that we've got that three camera lens set up. So we have the one that's right there, that's the ultra wide angle lens. You've got the telephoto lens there and you've got the standard wide angle lens right top, right at the top right. And you've got your microphone there and flash as well. So this has also got night mode as well, which hopefully I'll be able to demo and uh, share on my Instagram at Gadgets Boy, so do make sure you follow me on there. Uh, this is just an unboxing, so I won't be running through any of those stuff right now. Uh, so again, make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for future videos as well. There'll be loads more content coming from this device. So all three lenses are 12 megapixel each. The 12 megapixel wide angle lens is f1.8 aperture. The 12 megapixel ultra wide is f2.4 at uh, with 120 degree field of view and then you've got the telephoto lens which is f2.0 again you'll be able to zoom in and get closer shots which is really cool if you guys seen the coverage already you, you see that you can capture ultra wide angle and then after the fact you can go back in and get more out of it as well which is pretty cool on the bottom you've got your lightning port there and speaker grill and on the side on the right side is your power button and where your sim card tray goes and on the left side is your volume rocker and the silent switch uh, button right there as well so I think this is starting to come through so face ID has been improved as well so again it's quicker and stuff like that so let me just enter my pin code quickly that's just the first time using it I have to put that pin code in first but other than that uh, it's easy just to use Face ID Unlock, which is just as quick as ever. As you can see there, just slide uh, to unlock it and you're good to go. All my apps are currently uh, restoring back onto the phone from my iPhone X uh, and XS uh, for my backup, my cloud backup. So here it is, this is the iPhone 11 Pro. So this is a Pro Edition with the three lens uh, set up. And this is the packaging that you get, so you actually get the color of the smartphone on the packaging. So this is the Space, space Gray Edition, so if you get a different color, uh, this will be something different on the box when you get it. And this is very easy to peel off as well, so I quite like that they made it easier to peel this off by just doing so, just blocking my IMEI number there. Uh, so if you just take this out. Oh. That looks so nice. So this is actually, as you open it up, it's not the front, you get the back first, which is quite interesting. Uh, if I remember clearly in the past, it's the front that you see the first time. So the logo has been moved down halfway through. And uh, I read on Twitter today from Tom Warren that the UK uh, or European edition will have that CE logo on the, on the bottom there. Um, let me show you guys. Uh, so you see that CE logo 
just there uh, because of the uh, European law. Um, but I think the US version is just plain, so you get the logo and that's it, which would be a lot nicer, but uh, we can deal with that first world problems. And that's the front of the device itself, as you can see there. We'll come back to that uh, just in a second. If we get this out, we get the uh, user manual as usual, quick start guide, etc. Uh, Sim ejector tool is there as well, and you get some stickers, some Apple stickers, so you can stick it on uh, whatever you want, like your suitcase and so on. Um, here you got the new plug as well, so this is a supercharge or fast charge, uh, rather, uh, plug, which is actually nice to have that uh, in the box for once. And this is the collapsible once it's USB-C port there, so I like this uh, mechanism here, so when you're taking it on travels, it's easier to take away without hurting yourself. So pop that in your pocket as well if you'd like to do so. Elsewhere, you also get your earpods as well, so this is a cabled version, so that's uh, lightning ready, so you don't, have, you don't need any adapter or anything like that in the box, you can just get it out and you're good to go. And you've also got your USB-C to lightning cable in there as well, because the adapter is actually USB-C. The bright, on the bright side of this is if you carry other plugs as well, that's also USB-C, you'll be able to plug that end into the USB-C. So for example, I've got a plug for my iPad Pro, I'll be able to carry just that if I need to, and I can use this for the iPad Pro and for this as well, although the other end, is, there are, they are different, so that's USB-C on the iPad Pro, uh, in case you didn't know. But that's everything you get in the packaging, so you get your phone, earphones, and your uh, charging stuff. And uh, let's go through the phone itself, because this is the main star of the show. Uh, you've got that three lens uh, set up there and you know it's very similar in size to the previous iPhone 10, my battered iPhone 10 so there, as you can see, uh, you can see the differences there just a little bit. It's slightly thicker and this is slightly heavier as well, um, but you also get better battery in this which is much better and you lose that 3D touch as well, something that I'd never really used on my iPhone 10 so that's all okay, I'm not mad at all.